Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Around the Block. This is Sasaki and I'm here again another week to bring you the latest news in the crypto market. I hope you guys are all doing very well and let's get started with this week. Well guys, um, just to make sure everyone is in, on the same page, uh, the last episode we were talking about the um, pretty much all the trouble that we had and the traditional banks, right? So, and that episode uh, basically brought a lot of volatility for the crypto market. And we had Bitcoin, Ethereum, especially Bitcoin by itself, going in so much hikes uh, in that week. So it was very exciting to watch. In the other hand, this week, by, by saying the last seven days, were kind of less um, volatile in the market. So the first news that I'm going to bring you guys is that this week we actually had, we have been reaching on Bitcoin the, the lowest liquidity level in 10 months. Yeah, so um, that is not something very nice to say, but um, because we had so much of, you know, people selling a much of Bitcoin, buying a lot as well. And we had this market like going up so much. We had days, I'm going to share with you in a few moments in the chart. We have a few days when Bitcoin actually had 12% of highs, 10% and 8% as well. But now things are a little bit more quiet and everyone's last is, is like asking themselves, is Bitcoin really uh, going to continue these hikes or it was just like a rush, a spike, and now we're going to have uh, more more like a sided market we don't know but i want to share with you guys my vector chart right now just a second all right and you you know that i always say here in our episodes of around the block about the financial volume of the market so you can see here and now i have my bitcoin with the daily charge we had so much of exciting market on that week, right? Which was this high, and that represents in the crypto market, 38% of high. Yeah, that is absolutely insane. Like I was so excited in those days uh, because I thought Bitcoin was really going to be uh, on a, a bull trend for like a long time. But I'm not, by the way, I'm not saying that the bullish trend has ended. But right now, you can see clearly that for the last, let's say, 15 days, 40 days, 14 days, that market is much more quiet. Why I say that? Because you guys know, for everyone who watches actually the, all the episodes, I always talk about this very important indicator, guys, which is the financial volume here below it's very clear guys it's really clear how much of low is the financial volume right now so for this week we like i said just now we are actually having the 10 month lowest level in the bitcoins volatility and liquidity as well so there's one very nice indicator and vector that you can use to your analysis, which actually is going to measure the volatility of the crypto. So to add, like I always say with you guys, you just right click in anywhere in your chart and just choose add indicator. All right. So when you do that here, you have so many indicator that they are basically oscillators and here I have the volatility, which is one of my favorites, really, right? Add new window, all right? So, so you guys can understand more of this indicator. Historical volatility is based on the book by Don and, you know, so on, odds by 90% winners, formula we result, historical volatility, you know, all the explanation of the theory behind the actual indicator. If you want to find out more, you just can use in your vector. Well, once I choose to use this, I just click in add. Guys, what I want to show here for you guys is the 
effect that this news has on the prices of Bitcoin. You can see here, where it's, it's really clear how much of the volatility has been uh, going down in the last days. Um, of course, we had like uh, more quieter periods before, but uh, like I just said before, we didn't uh, reach this level in liquidity in 10 months. Why is that? Well, basically because uh, pretty much the majority of traders and investors in the crypto market have been actually waiting to see what is going to be in the first weeks on the next days. Because I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but here we have we what we call a flag, right? Because we have this signal here and this market very sided. Um, when you have a flag like this, you have pretty much to wait because the probably is that either the prices is going to break through um, in a very strong volume, which hasn't been going on lately, or it's going to be cited uh, for a long time, just like it happened in last year, you know. So um, as an investor, I would say is a very important moment because this is the time when people are just trying to find out what is going to be in the next days. Um, because of that, I don't see a lot of movement in the next days, but I see a lot of people waiting. And another reason is that we have the halving coming in about 12 months. Right? We don't know exactly the date, but it's probably one year uh, from now. Because of that, we have one more factor that can be determining to the price of Bitcoin. So right now, like I said, very quiet week. Okay, uh, not much of trading here. Uh, if you are if you're looking for long term uh, trades, but more like of study and waiting for the right time to buy or even sell. Right now, just waiting, guys, because this week has been, like I said, much more quiet. Of course, because the last week has been like so crazy with so many news. So things are are more like you can you can relax, okay, just and just study and concentrate so much, and that is going to bring me to another another um, crypto token that a lot of people haven't been talking about, but I found this very recently, and I'm gonna share with you guys this thing. You know, guys, even though Bitcoin and Ethereum are the most uh, famous and the most volatility. Um, tokens in the crypto market, we have some of them that can be not as famous as Bitcoin, but can bring so many opportunities as well. So here I have Stellar. If you haven't heard of this one, I suggest you to study a little bit more and understand, of course, see what you think about this, um, this token. Look of how much has been interesting. And I always say about this, guys, and I know you guys are, are, are hearing this every time, but guys, look of how different it is, the financial volume of this token. Pretty much, it's starting to have some highs and it had a 46%. Yeah, it, it's 46% high in the last 22 days. And the last days were very exciting as well. Um, you guys know that I love to use the moving average. And here in my chart, I do have the 21 moving average. And clearly it is pointing up, which means we can be, all right, it, in market, we don't have sure because we don't know the future, but we can be looking at a start of a very strong bullish trend in this token, which is stellar. All right. So one suggestion for you guys in times like this, for example, this week, when we don't have a lot of um, volatility news on the market for Bitcoin, Ethereum, even Solana and all the other coins, you can look for smaller, but very interesting tokens. So you can do some research and understand if it's a good idea for your investments. Well, like you see right now, I can see a very strong bullish market and 
it can be a good option for you to do some, I don't know, maybe do some trading. Okay. This brings me to the second new that I want to share with you guys. I, I'm going to, I'm going to come back. So I'm going to just close my vector. All right. To come back with you guys. And just one second. This brings me to this Stellar's, which Stellar, which is this token that I was talking to you guys right now, um, have been so much better than it's, let's say it's rival, but I don't say it's quite a rival, but it would be the most equivalent token, which is Ripple. You know, a lot of people know about Ripple. I am such a person that I would be a fan in the last years, but recently I don't see uh, I don't know if it is really the token of the future, but the idea behind it, it's very interesting. And um, something that has been uh, taking my attention for the last days is that Stellar has been growing so much, like I just show you guys right now, and much better than Ripple, which is, like I said, pretty much the same in theory. And I would be very let's say curious about this coin i would be paying attention to this because when something like this is starting to happen i don't know if you guys remember uh two years ago i think it was uh january 2021 a lot of people were saying about the correlation between bitcoin and ethereum you remember that and some people say oh come on guys ethereum is going to be so much higher than bitcoin i to be honest i never thought that would that was going to happen but you never know but we can see a similar situation here with the Ripple and Stellar as well. So if you don't have in your wallet, neither of these Ripple and Stellar, this can be an interesting time for you. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just telling you research about it and see whether you believe, whether you find it interesting, the theory behind the token. All right. And when you see the correlation of these two tokens and how much of Stellar has been going up, maybe it's interesting to see that. And whether you have this or not, think about these two tokens in your investments, in your trading, even, I don't know, like for day trading, swing trader, it doesn't matter. All right. So like I always bring here, I always try to bring uh, something more like curiosity, especially about the NFT world and that kind of stuff. This week, I also have something very interesting that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys never, never seen before. Guys, you know the exchange OKX? Yeah, so OKX is starting a very new and very unique project that I found very, let's say, curious. Um, they are going to have a training session training session in football right? so americans i think americans call that like a soccer i don't know whether guys call it soccer or football but um with the star ruben diaz so basically they are going to use the metaverse in order to do a virtual training session with the football star ruben diaz I, to be honest, I think this is very nice, guys. It's it's one more step. I think we always come here um, in our own blog and try to bring like the most exciting and the most cutting edge technologies. And this is one that really took my attention because, man, this is really like uh, OKX is bringing like, experience that me, like as a football fan, I think it's fantastic. Um, it's pretty much like you can build your, you know, your player pretty much using, you know, the, the hair you like, the clothes that you think are most interesting and literally use in a training session, like I said, with the football star. Of course, right now, it's something very simple. Uh, even if you look at this on the OKX website, um, the graphs are not very advanced and that's all good, man, because this is starting and you can use uh, lots of customization in your player to use this fashion. I, to be honest, didn't have time to download it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do is do this in the next days. 
and I hope you guys do as well. You can just search like OKX uh, Football Session uh, Metaverse. And I'm more excited because this is the start of probably what's going to be a lot of training sessions, not only for football. Ima imagine this, football, fishing, I don't know, basketball, volleyball, it doesn't matter. But I just think that it's very interesting um, to see this. By the way, I would love to hear from you guys what you think about these technologies. Do you really think that in the future, in the future, I mean, five years from now, three years from now, do you think we can have, for example, office meetings using the metaverse because it's already going on. But I know just a few companies are using this feature. But I ask you, do you think we are going to have more and more situations in the metaverse? For example, having not only an office meeting, but a romantic meeting, hang out with friends in the metaverse. I know it pretty much happens with some online games, but really you you talk to a friend like oh let's go for a coffee and then you actually meet in the metaverse i don't i don't know if i think it's going to be possible soon but i definitely think in five years or even even less some people are going to do this and this example from okx using a training session in the metaverse it's something that is basically saying guys it is happening and we're bringing things for from the real life let's say real life for the metaverse and people are actually buying it you know so i just thought it would be very interesting to bring this and another topic that i want to bring and talk with you guys because i think every let's say not every week but every month we have some updates or even let's say one more point to talk about the case of Terra Luna, you know, and in this case, uh, in this week, by the way, this news is from like two days ago. Daniel Shins, he was, uh, his arrest was denied by court. Uh, basically, you you guys all know what been going on with the Juan uh, from Terra Luna, and the arrest and and all kind of stuff is a it's finally happening. Some kind of let's say they are finally being punished for what they did because you know a lot of people were in trouble because of terra luna and and so on but finally we're having some people like them being punished first of all of course don the one for was the first to be arrested and now uh daniel shin where is being prosecuted um in south korea um like i said his arrest has been denied and they say because right now the risk is low like they would say that he is not trying to run away yet and i am saying yet but let's say what brings us in the next weeks um for me and for all investors i think we all just agree on that uh, all of the people who were some kind of involved in terra luna um situation are supposed to be punished as soon as possible just like the people who were involved with the ftx and not i'm not talking about just the ceo uh just I, i'm talking about everyone who knew that that was going to be a big trouble and didn't do anything and because of that we have a lot of investors that lost uh let's say money and, and more importantly guys i'm not talking just about money but I, I feel like some people um, now are a little bit more afraid, but in order to make people more uh, feel safe by itself, we can say, don't worry, because all people who do, who did these things involving Terra Luna especially are being punished and are going to be in some way very soon. All right, um, guys, because we didn't have so much of um, news let's say it was like i said much more quiet uh week and you can see the chart like bitcoin is pretty much with no trend at all it's just side by side to try to bring uh stellar as a alternative so you could do some trading or even investments but this is what we have for uh this episode and i want to ask you something very interesting we are getting very close to the episode number 25. I would love to hear from you guys. 
what are the the question or the curiosity that you want to hear here here and the the around the block podcast so if there's something there is a topic in specifically that you want to hear about leave here in the comments or even better you can go to our instagram uh, you know comment in any post that i'm gonna try we are gonna try to bring, bring here in the t- episode 25 something very interesting something very let's say dynamic so you guys can participate as well asking questions suggesting some themes or topics specifically that we are gonna br- bring something very unique for you guys all right guys so that's all for today and like i always say don't forget to pick up your 15-day trial of vector you can use all the great tools for your analysis for day trading swing trading or just analysis for the market and like i always say always research so much study as much as you can before going to buy or sell any token any coin in the crypto market as well all right guys stay safe have a great week and i see you on the next week on around the block